Good morning, developers. If you are new to the channel, my name is Rob, and it is JavaScript Tuesday, the day that we look at JavaScript as a language itself. And we have been going through the updates to ECMAScript, or JavaScript, uh, since 2015, which is when ES6 came out. And if you need a little bit of background on the relationship between those two, ECMAScript and JavaScript, please check the description for a link. But we find ourselves today in ES13, or ECMAScript 2022. There is an at prototype method on arrays and on strings. Prototype meaning if you're an array or a string, you have it. It, it is also uh, on typed arrays, but these are formal common, so we'll, we'll treat them here. We will come back over to the docs in a sec, but I want to show you what it does first. I have an HTML file. You can use Node if you're following along. It works the same way. But I've got an array defined here with 0, 1, 2, and 3, each in their own index, and then a string. We can now do this, console.log on array dot at and hand it the number one. I'll do the same thing for our string. What mind blowing new thing does this do? It grabbed what is at the one index in the array and it grabbed the character at the one index in the string. And so when I first saw this a, a couple years ago when it first came out, I thought, what, what is the point of this? For the past 25 years, literally, I have been doing this it is shorter, it is easier to read, and I have a very, very strong habit that's gonna be very hard to break. In fact, we can actually do this too. We already have, with strings, the care at method. I say caret because I think it's funnier. <laughs> but we already have two ways to do this, and they already work fine, and if I hop over to the, the caret method, and we scroll down to the bottom here, this has been available since pretty much day one of every single browser. If we run our code, we get the same thing for every single one. So what is the point of this? Well, there is a very important nuance, and I am trying to move towards at for this very reason. It's just really hard to break 25 years of habit. The docs say the at method for arrays takes an integer value, just like brackets, and returns the item at that index, just like brackets, allowing for positive and negative integers. That is new. If we come back over to our code and we drop in negative one for both of these, actually let's do it for everything here. Let's see what happens. We refresh, we get the last element in the array, here we get undefined, we get the last character in the string, here we get undefined, and here we get the empty string. If you are coming from Python or R, you are very excited and you can already see what is coming. Let's talk through it quick. There's a couple caveats. The description here, the at method is equivalent to bracket notation when index is non-negative. So from zero to infinity, that's how it has always worked. However, when counting elements from the end of the array, you cannot use negative one like you can in these two very popular scripting languages because all values inside square brackets in JavaScript are treated literally as string properties. So that means you're literally reading the string negative one, and that's never gonna exist unless you explicitly create it. It says that here, the usual practice has been to grab the length property and subtract one or whatever you need from it. Back over here, this has plagued JavaScript forever. Let's make a couple notes here quick. At will grab the element at that index negative starts from the end. And I'll, I'll comment this one out. I'm gonna copy this line, comment it out, and we'll put a note here at the end. We'll return undefined in bracket notation. If I paste it in, this is what we've done for the past 25 or I guess 30 years. We'd have to do an array.length. And You've probably, you've probably done this where you've got to grab the last element array five times in 30 lines for loops or whatever. You have to keep writing this and it, it just clutters up your code. It's irritating, at least it is to me. Uh, I'll do the same thing down here. Will return undefined in bracket notation. Uh, we've got the exact same thing here, but I'll, I guess I'll drop it down here. If you want to do this without getting the length, yes, technically you can do this. You could do dot slice. Slice will allow for negative indices, so you could do minus one, but it's going to return an array, which means you're going to have to put uh, the zero in there in order to actually get that, that first element. So we come back over and refresh. That gets us what we want, but that is not better. I don't 
don't like looking at that because I have to think about what's going on there. This is a huge, uh, a huge win. I'll do the same thing, I guess, down here again, just so that you can see it works on both ways. We slice minus one and then again have to grab the zero element, refresh, and it, it, it gets the right one. Back over to the docs real quick. I want to look at the return values real quick here. The element in the array uh, matching the given index. That's what, that's what we've gotten back, as you've seen. This will always return undefined if it is out of range without attempting to access the corresponding property. You, you won't, it won't try and do anything if it's not in range. It simply will return undefined. Same thing over here. Returns undefined if the given index cannot be found. This is a very slight difference if we come over and look at, uh, at caret. The return value here, you already saw that, but um, it will return an empty string if it's out of range. So it was undefined with bracket notation if it was out of range. It is an empty string for caret if it's out of range. From now on, my suggestion, although it will be difficult for, for me as well, is to use this because this is a better method in general, allowing you to use negative, uh, negative indices. It will allow you to hop back and forth between JavaScript and Python easier, and it is more succinct across the board. This is another win for JavaScript, another great thing that again, we got uh, here in ES 13. Use it, write better JavaScript. I will link another uh, video in the playlist and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.